Multiple agencies are ramping up their investigations into allegations surrounding Tuesday night's confusion. President Yoon faces accusations of insurrection, raising questions about constitutional violations and government accountability. Our Moon Hyeryeon has the details. The South Korean prosecution has established a special investigation headquarters to lead the inquiry into the allegations against President Yoon. This task force made up of 20 prosecutors headed by Park Sehyun, chief prosecutor of the Seoul High Prosecutor's Office, includes military prosecutors for enhanced expertise and will be established at the Seoul Eastern District Prosecutor's Offices. The move reflects the gravity of the case with President Yoon himself under scrutiny. This case stems from accusations filed by opposition parties and civic groups, and the charges include insurrection and abuse of power. Insurrection is an organized attempt to overthrow a government or its leaders, and a president in South Korea can be impeached if found guilty of insurrection as it violates constitutional law. Despite legal challenges regarding jurisdiction, the prosecution concluded that the case falls within their investigative authority due to overlapping charges. Meanwhile, the National Police Agency has launched its own 120-member task force to investigate the case. The police disclosed that it has received four separate complaints related to the martial law declaration, involving figures such as President Yoon, now former Defence Minister Kim Yong-hyun, Interior Minister Lee Sang-min and top police officials. The police claims jurisdiction over insurrection-related investigations and has expressed its commitment to accelerating the probe. The Corruption Investigation Office, or CIO, is also involved, focusing on related charges like abuse of power. While the agency cannot investigate insurrection directly, it has mirrored the prosecution and police by issuing a travel ban on former Defence Minister Kim, who is accused of advising the president to declare martial law. Adding to the complexity, the Democratic Party has proposed a bill for a special prosecutor to oversee the case. A special prosecutor is appointed when there is a conflict of interest that could prevent the prosecuting authority from investigating a case, and the bill is expected to be reviewed in the National Assembly on December 10. If approved, the special prosecutor would take over all investigative materials from existing agencies. However, delays could arise. The president's refusal to appoint a special prosecutor would not carry penalties, and assembling a new investigative team could take months. Experts warn that overlapping investigations could lead to inefficiencies and confusion. With multiple agencies now engaged in this high-profile case, the investigations into the martial law incident mark an unprecedented moment in South Korea's constitutional history. Moon Hyeryeon, Arirang News.